Hello. Welcome back. To ongoing world affairs. Rockets were fired at Kabul airport on Monday morning, local time, as the threat of terror attacks increase as the United States race to complete its withdrawal from Afghanistan. As many as five rockets were fired and were intercepted by a missile defense system, though it was not clear if all were brought down by the defense system, a U.S. official told Reuters. The official said initial reports did not indicate any U.S. casualties, but that information could change. It wasn't immediately clear who launched them. A security official who worked in the former administration that was toppled by the Taliban said the rockets had been fired from a vehicle in the north of the city. Smoke could be seen rising near the airport and the sound of the airport's missile defense system could be heard by local residents. Residents also reported seeing rockets exploding in the air and shrapnel falling into the street, suggesting at least one rocket had been intercepted. However, rockets appeared to strike Kabul's Salim Karwan neighborhood on Monday, witnesses told the Associated Press. Gunfire immediately followed the explosions, but it wasn't immediately clear who was firing. Press Secretary Jen Psaki has said that President Joe Biden has been briefed on the rocket attack and told operations to continue there. A witness who spoke on condition of anonymity for fear of reprisals said they heard the sound of three explosions and then saw a flash, like fire, in the sky. People fled after the blasts, the witness said. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said early Monday morning that President Joe Biden has been briefed on the rocket attack at the Kabul airport.